Questions 1 through 10 on the 2017 Grade 8 AMC 8. Which of the following is the largest? Let's calculate each of these individually. A looks like 10, B is 8, C is 9, D is also 9, and E is 0. So the largest obviously is 8 for number 1. Alicia, Brenda, and Colby were the candidates in a recent election for a student president. The pie chart below shows how the votes were distributed among the three candidates. If Brenda received 36 votes, then how many votes were cast altogether? Well, 0 0.3, which is Brenda, multiplied by the total number of votes, let's say that's x, is equal to 36. So this is what we will have to calculate. Therefore, x is 36 divided by 0.3, and that means x is equal to 120. So a total of 120 votes for cast. That means number 2, the answer is E. What is the value of this exp expression? So we've got root 4, which is 2. So that'll be 8 times 2, like that. So then... 8 times 2 is 16, so that becomes root 16. Root 16 is 4, so this becomes 16 times 4. 16 times 4 is 64. That becomes root 64. And the root, six, the root of 64 is 8. So number 3, the answer is C. When 0 0.00315 is multiplied by 7928564, the product is closest to which of the following? Well, you have a couple choices. You can either do that multiplication, but you're not allowed to use a calculator. So let's just approximate, say, 3 times 8 million. Because they're just asking for an approximation, and that's, of course, 24 million. But we don't have 3 and 8 million. 8 million is a pretty decent approximation of that, so this is fine. But we don't have 3. We have 0 0.0003, right? So what we basically did is we went one, two, three, four decimal points to the right. So this must have that similar change. We have to go four decimal points to the left. So one, two, three, four. So put the decimal there. So it's approximately two, four, zero, zero. And therefore number four, the answer is D. What is the value of this expression? All right, so first thing we'll do is just the denominator. When you add up those numbers, 1 through 8, you get 36. And on the top, you've got 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times 6 times 7 times 8, like that. And 36 is the same as 2 times 3 times 6. So those cancel, and the only thing you're left with is 4 times 5 times 7 times 8. And when you do that multiplication, you get 1, 1, 2, 0. So the answer is B. If the degree measures of the angles of a triangle are in the ratio 3, 3, 4, what is the degree measure of the largest angle of the triangle? We've got 3x, 3x, and 4x. And those are the degree measures. So when you add them all up, 3x plus 3x plus 4x, that has to equal 180. So that means 10x is equal to 180, and therefore x is equal to 18. Now the largest angle is 4x, so therefore that would be 4 times 18, and that is 72. So number 6, the answer is D. Let z be a six-digit positive integer such that 247, 247, whose first three digits are the same, and its last three digits taken in the same order. Which of the following numbers must be a factor of z? Well, any number that they are describing are, is of the form ABC, ABC. Well, this number, if you wrote it all out, it would be C plus 10B plus 100 a and pretty much the same thing here the only thing is you have to multiply by a factor of a thousand 
100 a plus 10 B plus C and then if you factor out that 100 a plus 10 B plus C you will get a thousand plus one and this is 100 a plus 10 B plus C and that is 1001 and 1001 is 11 times 91 so all numbers of this form are factored by 11 and 91 and of those 11 is present in the answer choices so number seven the answer is eight Malcolm wants to visit Isabella after school today and know the street where she lives but doesn't know her house number she tells him my house number has two digits and exactly three of the following four statements about it are true prime even divisible by seven one digit is nine this information allows Malcolm to determine Isabella's house number what is its units digit okay let's think about this prime and even well these two don't go together the only even prime is two but this has two digits so one of these has to be false Divisible by 7, well, prime numbers are not divisible by anything except for 1 in itself. So it's a two-digit number, so obviously it's not 7. So my hunch is that this is the one that is wrong because it can't go with this or this. All right, so it's even, it's divisible by 7, and one digit is 9. So obviously if it's divisible by 7, it has a multiple of 7. And the only multiples of 7 that have a 9 in it are 49, 91, and 98. These are multiples of 7, so they satisfy that criteria. They have a 9 in them. Now, which one of these satisfies this criteria even? Just this one. So 98 is the only one that satisfies these three criteria. The unit's digit of 98 is 8. So number 8, the answer is 8, and that is D. All of Marcy's marbles are blue, red, green, or yellow. One third of her marbles are blue, one fourth of them are red, and six of them are green. What is the smallest number of yellow marbles that Marcy should, could have? Blue, red, green, and yellow. One third of X is blue, X being the total number. One fourth of X is red, then the number is six, and then we don't know why. Why, I'll just call Y. So if we put this in equation, x over 3 plus x over 4 plus 6 plus y is equal to x, which is the total number. So if you do this math, you get y is equal to 5x over 12 minus 6. So now we have to experiment here. If y is, of course, representing the number of yellow marbles, it has to be an integer. And so does x, because that's the total number of marbles. When x is, say, 12, you would get y to be negative 1. Well, that's not going to work. can't have negative 1 marbles. When x is 24, y would be 4. And that is an answer choice. Number 9, the answer is D. A box contains five cards numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Three cards are selected randomly without replacement from the box. What is the probability that 4 is the largest value selected? I don't think there's going to be that many, so I can just do them, uh, write them all out. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 5. 1, 3, 4, 1, 3, 5. 1, 4, 5. 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 5, 2, 4, 5, and 3, 4, 5. I think these are the only ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So my probability is obviously something over 10. Now the criteria is that the 4 is the largest in the group. So that is 1, that is 1, this is 1, and I think that's it. So 3 of those 10 fit the criteria. So number 10, the answer is 3 over 10, which is choice C.